Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on something which I purchased mm, about six weeks to two months ago and I've been asked a couple of times on Instagram to do a review on this product and I think I mentioned it, was it in my last month favourites? Might have been, I'm not too sure. But it is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. Now this is by no means a new product, it's been out forever. And I've heard so many people rave about it. Moldy Fruit loves to use it as a concealer. And Miss Beauty Addict as well. Selena, she loves to use it too. So I am just basically chucking in my two pence as well to give you my thoughts on it. So I did mention that I wasn't too sure about how to use it. I've been using it as a concealer under my eyes. And that it just wasn't working well for me. It was creasing too much, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so I finally after a couple of trial and errors have figured out the best way to use it for me now i have combination to a normal to combination skin depending on the weather as well in the summer i tend to get a lot more oilier on my t-zone this is all highlighting by the way for those of you that always love to say you look shiny it's highlighting all right anyway so this product is tiny tiny it is 18 grams and it is a whopping 38 pounds in cost it ain't cheap now, Kevin Aquan is a very luxurious brand, so none of his products are going to be cheap, but then I have never heard any bad things about any of his products as well. So I'm just saying. And I have always wanted to try it, but I wasn't too sure, especially firstly because of how much it costs. Secondly, it's not really available everywhere and anywhere. You can buy it in the UK from Space NK, but they don't tend to have loads of those shops around and about. For me, most of them are in central London. And I don't work in central London anymore like I used to, so it's not as easy as it is for me, whereas I could just pop down the road before, now I have to jump on a train or drive into London. Uh, so, But I ordered mine from cultbeauty.co.uk, uh, which I will link below. And I actually think I paid less than 38, it might have been 36, not sure. Anyway, the colour that I got is SX08, and it is a warm, medium colour with very strong and yellow undertones. That is how much I've used over the past couple of weeks, bearing in mind I don't use it every single day. The whole point of this thing is called a sensual skin enhancer. It's meant to enhance your skin. It's not necessarily specifically a foundation, a concealer, a highlighter. However, it can be used for all of those various different things. And it is awesome. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous product. It smells like, I even mentioned before, it smells like one of my mum's older perfumes. It's got that very... I'm not going to say old lady smell, <laughs> she'll kill me if I said that. Um, it's got more of a very sophisticated sort of scent, very strong evening going out in the winter kind of perfume. It smells like luxury, it smells expensive, it smells of what you assume the product to be. You wouldn't smell it like if you bought a drugstore one and it smells kind of like plastic, you'd be like, alright, well it was like three quid, but this is £38. Anyway. The whole purpose of this is that it's meant to create a very healthy and flawless looking complexion on your face. You can use it as a under eye concealer, you can use it as a spot concealer, you can use it as a foundation, you can sheer it out to, with a tinted moisturiser or a moisturiser or your primer for a more sheared out kind of look. You can even use it as a highlighter or a contouring shade if you obviously get lighter or darker colours. Now it is very difficult online to definitely kind of pick the right color so if you are able to go to a, a space nk i would definitely recommend doing that me on the other hand i did order it online i did a lot of research bearing in mind that this has been out for a good couple of years now it's nothing new so there are hundreds of reviews out there so i was able to color match myself to sx08 in mac i'm an nc40 uh in uh NARS, I'm in the shade Barcelona, so that's just something to bear in mind, but this has definitely got very high yellow content to it, and it, I do find it maybe a little bit light for me, but because I blend it in very well, it works out, like it works well for me anyway. Now, it is very full coverage, it is very thick, it is very luxurious, it is very creamy, it is very emollient because there's oils in it, and it is very full coverage and very 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 pigmented so a little bit definitely goes a long way i mean a lot of people watch this and go 38 pounds for something that small but you literally just need the tiniest amount let me show you that is enough to cover 
my whole under eye area, pretty much. And that is nothing. I literally, I literally just dabbed it and that's it. And it will cover loads. So we just blend it in. It is very, very thick and full coverage. Very full coverage. It's pretty much covered up my beauty spots, but then I have blended it out loads and loads and there's nothing else on top. But it will cover up everything and anything. Somebody who suffers from pigmentation marks, redness, acne scarring, even pitted marks in your skin like I get, what I have because of when I was younger and I used to pick my spots, it covers everything it gives you such a beautiful and natural sort of finish it's meant to give like a dewy sort of look but i find that it gives more of a my skin about a hundred times better sort of feel to it i absolutely love it what i personally tend to do is i've got a lot of redness on my cheeks here i don't know if you guys have ever noticed i've got a lump here this is like it's called a sebaceous gland it's like the granddaddy of all spots you can't actually get rid of it you can't squeeze it actually it will take like somebody really strong to squeeze the crap out of it but for ages it's been there forever blighting my life and it's got a slight darkness to it so i tend to put a little bit of that on it covers it up completely it's awesome so if you suffer from acne cystic acne that sort of thing this will cover up all of that and then i just apply a little bit on my chin a few areas that i want concealing then i just use my normal whatever brush i've used to uh, put on my foundation i just tend to blend that in and then blend it into my foundation so that there are no harsh or obvious lines that i've got two different types of product on my skin as in the foundation as well as the uh, sensual skin enhancer the only con about it is because it is so thick because it is so full coverage if you suffer from dry skin it will accentuate the dry skin it will grab onto that dry skin and make it more obvious so it's very important to exfoliate your face regularly you should do anyway and moisturize your skin and then apply it afterwards and then you'll see that it applies so much more smoothly using it under the under on your under eyes the problem that i was having is that i was using too much and you don't realize that because you're like i'm only taking such a tiny little bit that's not going to cover anything it's all psychological the less i applied the less likely it was to decrease the more you apply it the more likely it is to decrease because it is so emollient because it's got oils in it it will sit within the crease lines of your eyes so just bear that in mind I do tend to use, I don't really use a brush to apply my concealer under my eyes. I never have done. It was either my fingers or I use, or I have done for the past two years, ever since I got it, is to use a very, very damp beauty blender, shears it out, and then make sure you set it straight afterwards to stop any creasing from happening. Because creasing can happen pretty much a couple of seconds after you put on an under eye concealer. That's why it's so important to set it. There are loads of loads of different shades. I think there's about 16, 18 shades, but they don't correspond from light to dark because it's called like SX1, 2, 3, 4, but 2 may be darker than 1 and 3 may be lighter than 6 and it's all a bit all over the place. Please read the descriptions online, see what other people see and if you are able to go and test it out yourself, by all means do so. But this product itself, I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. It is, this is a game-changing product for me. I will definitely purchase this again. I don't care if it's £38. This will last you for at least two years. Is Even if you use it regularly on your under eye, or as I do, just in a couple of places. I haven't used it as all over um, foundation yet. I will do maybe soon, like later on, but I am happy with the foundations that I've got at the moment. I just use this as an accompaniment to my foundation and especially in these areas. And I know you guys have also mentioned how much better my skin is looking. Hello. Skin Enhancer. It enhances your skin. So this one, I give it a 10 out of 10. I think it's an absolutely amazing product. And because of after I've used this, I am definitely going to look into more of the Kevin Aquan uh product apparently some of the highlighters are pretty good as well let me know what you think uh other than that i hope that you enjoyed this review i hope you found it helpful if you've never used it before if, or if you if you've been interested in wanting to use it uh i hope that you find this uh review um useful and let me know if you've got any more questions or if you've got any more comments or if you guys i know that there are loads of you that have already used this before let me know what you think um, about it how do you use it do you use it in any different ways do you add something else to it obviously it is multi-purpose like i said you can use it for contouring highlighting foundation concealer 
mix it with a tinted moisturizer, mix it with your moisturizer to sheer it out, use your primer, mix it with your primer, whatever, whatever. But yes, yeah, so it's an absolutely amazing product and I'm very happy that I got it. I do set my foundation, I do set this afterwards. I use my normal Max, Max Studio Fix um, powder foundation to set my face after I have applied all my foundations and concealers and whatnot. And it lasts all day long, it doesn't budge, it doesn't come off. It is a little bit transferable because it is so creamy and thick. It's not meant to like be like a foundation sort of thing. Um, so that is just one thing to bear in mind. But it's a minor considering the amount of pros that there are. So yeah, so I hope you found this useful and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!